from the Rio. is it allows us to concentrate our fire from these weapons on one particular spot in the enemy line. This is called volley fire. And it's another fear factor. Because you'll have a wave of balls coming down and hitting the enemy at once. Now we sit in 100 out and burn down the camp. So you just dig a trench, throw the dirt in the middle to get it out of the way, and dig as many fireplaces going around as you have tents. Um, so this kitchen would serve that group of tents over there, the other. A group of tents, the other company would have its own kitchen and, and so on. So it'd be about eight of these things for each uh, regiment. Now the foods were simple, you were limited by preservation methods, so meats were usually some vegetables, so they actually had some health concerns because of that. So they would uh, try to find wild plants that would... Uh, you could have it all, and I don't care whether you think you are or not, and I don't care how loaded you are, if you're conscious, you're feeling pain. And here's a little tidbit for you. When I started surgery, I knew in 1781. If I actually have the law to get it when the surgery's over, and you're conscious. So what I give you for pain during the surgery? That's the question, right? Any ideas? charge of preserving the food that comes out of that kitchen garden. Can mom do that by herself? So who helps mom? Some other women. All right. Uh, probably the only woman on the farm is mom. So the children. The children. All right. But by children, I mean you. All right. I mean boys and girls. So mom is going to teach you how to cook. She's going to teach you how to grow things, take care of things in the kitchen garden, and she's going to teach you how to preserve things. Everybody should know how to do those things in the 18th century, so that's why she's doing that. But once you're 10 or 12, you start working for dad in the big fields, helping with that tobacco, corn, cotton, wheat, that type of stuff. Granola bars? Uh, you know, everybody knows what a granola bar is. It's kind of the same principle. You pick it up, take it, and get to work. All right? It's something you have to sit down and eat. Right? Then you start working on dinner. Dinner would be served about 12 or 1 o'clock, and it would be your main meal of the day and a hot meal. And then for supper this evening, guess what you're gonna have? Leftovers. Leftovers from your dinner. So by this time of day, dinner has been cooked, you've probably already eaten your dinner, you're back out working, fire goes out. No need to have a fire going if you're not cooking anything. Beet pie, an apple pie, um, the bottom shelf is a pound cake and carrot puffs, which are sweet. And the top shelf with that spoon coming out, my friend Carrie over in the house cooked those today. Those are carrots the Dutch way. Um, basically carrots that were cooked in butter. And so that's what we've done over the last couple of days. The onions and cucumbers. The onions and cucumbers. They can't have big things. These are tools, farm tools.
thing. Got a rooster and two hens here, the black Muscovy duck. Uh, they're indicative of animals they would have on the farm at the time. Uh, we've got one other hen, the red Dorkin hen. It's inside, she's sitting on six eggs right now, so she's a hatch pound. Yes. Because he adopted us. He's our farm cat. He actually came up out of the woods about four months ago. You know, it really depends. I have coworkers that could do a, like a, a bobbin in an hour. I am not one of those people. <laughs> Uh, mostly because I just don't practice as much as I should. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good afternoon. Thanks for coming. Hi. Hi folks. How are you doing today? Good. Overall. Uh, overall, most colonists are considered lower class. Uh, where we are, though, we are in Tidewater, Virginia. We are growing tobacco, uh, making us some good money. So I guess the long and the short of it. Um, I am currently doing some spinning. So if I wanted to weave a piece of cloth or if I wanted to knit a pair of stockings, I need the yarn to do that. And this is how I am making that yarn. I can make thread like this or string like this. It depends on what I need my finished product to be. So I'm working with wool right now. Ooh, that actually looks really good! Yes! Okay. <laughs> Um, I have goals and aspirations and I'm making progress and that makes me happy. Um, yeah, so Please. with, uh, maybe sew with it, um, it might be a little thick for that eye, with another strand of wool of a similar weight and I can use it to knit with. Um, less shawls, less, you know, fancy things like that. Mittens though. Oh. That is not, I don't, I definitely have seen those and I've seen a few in, in paintings and things from the 18th 